The UMC Trauma Center staff cared for roughly 12,000 patients last year, including a woman who'd been shot multiple times. She lived and was celebrated along with others during a trauma survivors reunion today hosted by the hospital. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond joining us live in studio with her story. Kristen? Denise and Brian, UMC Trauma staff see patients during their most critical time, but the luncheon today reunites caretakers with survivors. This day highlights recovery stories, including that woman from North Las Vegas who was shot 15 times last year. It's a good feeling. A hug of support. It's really cool just being able to be around some of the doctors, a lot of the nurses. Cheyenne Briggs takes pictures with UMC Trauma Center staff. To see somebody who was at their the lowest of low and thought that they were going to die and here they are living a full life. All rejoice in her recovery during the UMC Trauma Survivor Celebration. A chance for Briggs to meet the people who saved her life. Being in ICU, I don't remember a lot of people. So really like seeing who took care of me and everything and really being able to thank them face to face. That's it's taken Briggs months to recover from nearly dying. I was shot 15 times by my boyfriend at the time. When it happened, I was in the bathroom and um, my kids were across the hall. The mother of three recalls curling up on the floor and one thought crossing her mind. Just praying to God, like, you know, if I'm going to go, like, at least let me make it to the hospital so that I'd be able to say goodbye to my kids. Doctors performed multiple surgeries, including a partial amputation of her right leg. After time in the hospital, rehab, and learning to walk again, she is now more grateful than ever to not miss moments with her children. The most random things make me cry, like their basketball game. You know, I start crying <laughs> because I'm just so, like, so happy. Like, you know, I almost didn't make it to see this. The physical scars remain. I got that ball. There's this one. Reminders of her perseverance to live and prove she's stronger than before. The biggest eye opener is to love myself. Briggs left rehabilitation in December, and since then, she moved homes, started a cinnamon roll business, and is attending real estate school. Back to you. She is strong wow. inside and out. All right, Kristen, thanks for that. Yeah.